Iowa is saying they're too sick to be put to death. Ryan Burrow, ABC News correspondent, has this bizarre story. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning. Yeah, uh, well, he's set to be put to death tomorrow. Alva Campbell, 69 years old. He's been in prison uh, pretty much since the late 90s. He was actually uh, going to trial for armed robbery when he faked paralysis as he was being wheeled in by a, uh, a sheriff's deputy, overtook the sheriff's deputy sheriff's deputy, took his weapon, uh, jumped in a car, carjacking a teenager, and fatally shot that teenager as well. So he's been sentenced to death. He's been uh, on death row for decades now. Uh, in that process, he's been smoking a lot and uh, now suffers severe chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder, requires four breathing treatments a day, may have lung cancer, uses a walker, and uh, just a few weeks ago tested out uh, what the execution process will be like and in the test run uh, had a lot of discomfort when they were putting him down uh, on the, uh, the, the gurney that he will be put on uh, when he's executed. So a judge has allowed uh, uh, he be provided with a wedge-shaped pillow to help him breathe as he dies. Um, and now what about his veins? Yeah, that's the other issue. Uh, they're struggling to find them, and at least suitable ones to put this IV drip in with the toxic uh, fatal chemicals in it. So uh, that could be a struggle as well. Now, we flash back three years when there was a gentleman named Dennis McGuire who was put to death in Ohio. He struggled for 10 minutes, the result of uh, the, the drug mix, the cocktail they had used, um, and uh, essentially gargled and, and spit for about 10 minutes before he finally died. When that happened the state tapped the brakes on uh, executions for three years trying to get it right they don't want to see another similar situation this time around with this gentleman has the judge ruled anything i mean if this is going to happen next uh, tomorrow as of right now, this is going to happen full speed ahead. The governor has given no sympathy, rejecting any mercy for Campbell last week. Um, Campbell actually said that he would prefer to be killed by de uh, by firing squad, but uh, a judge said there's no way the state could pull that together into law in time. So as of now, still scheduled to uh, die by lethal injection via the IV drip, assuming they can find his vein. So they're going to give him a wedge pillow to make him more comfortable as they execute him. You got it, exactly. Stay tuned. This story, I have a feeling, is going to get a lot more bizarre before it's over. Uh, Ryan Burrow, ABC News correspondent. Thanks for checking.